Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on May 25th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. My apologies for not getting one out yesterday. I had a very long day, came home, passed out. And we're looking at our sun today, May 25th. As we had a small CME eject from the southeastern quadrant of our sun. Southwestern, when we're looking here, it's opposite of what we're looking at. We're also looking at that fiery sunspot region. No possibility of flaring. But definitely an active region here. As we observed this last night on the live stream. And I shared these images today as well on Facebook on the Daily Events Worldwide page. If you're on Facebook, please link up with me on Facebook. Hashtag Morning Dew Weather. Also looking at our sun here, 304 angstroms. As we had some plasma activity. Northeastern looking here on the northeastern side of the sun. As well, it looks like a small solar tornado in the region where the CME ripped away. Still some amazing images here. I love being able to look at our sun this way. And I love being able to have all of you watching and sharing these images with you. 160 countries worldwide. We're looking at another view here to watch for coronal holes. No coronal holes earth facing. Small coronal hole developing there, equatorial. But still, our very quiet sun. Looking at a real-time solar wind, and we're sitting at about 320 kilometers per second. Looks like a drop there to about 300. It's been sporadic over the last couple hours. And that's probably due to this CME that is most likely on its way as it was an earth facing, but a more southern region and still tiny and minuscule compared to what we've seen during a maximum cycle. We are going through a minimum cycle just finished. We'll be going through another maximum for 11 years. And then after that, who knows? But if we run on a 250 year cycle, solar cycle, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's look here at the Schumann resonance for today. As we had a power of 17, very low, inactive over the last couple days. More people are getting physical, I believe, as well as the lockdowns are releasing around the planet. Let's have a look here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, focusing here at North American Plate as we're still watching an earthquake swarm in Idaho and as well Nevada. This is the last 24 hours, guys. Very busy North American plate. As well as some activity in Hawaii and Japan today. Nishina Monon, Japan 4.4 and at 4.7. As well, Yemen with a 4.3 and Greece with a 4.1. And those, those all happened over the past three hours or so, but they all happened pretty close to each other. Sizable 5.1 here, South Sandwich Islands, South America, dealing with a 4.5, 200 kilometer depth in Argentina. And as well, 4.1 there, Chile. Central America, Dominican still going. as well Hawaii with a 3.0 there today Palhala still and a large 5.7 or sorry 5.1 here in India at a 50 what 56 kilometer depth 5.1 in India that's a pretty rare place to be getting large earthquakes like that let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes as we're watching the deep earthquakes start to happen again, South American plate as well, Fiji, and throughout western side of the Ring of Fire. Still a lot of activity there, the Mediterranean fault. 
and as well Western Pacific Plate into the Indian Plate active. Stay aware and prepared. Just have a plan and be ready. That's what this channel is all about. Kind of seems like the pressure has been released across North American Plate. But still watching the storms continue, so it makes you really wonder what's a bubbling underneath. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here. As I wanted to show you, look at this satellite imagery over the Pacific Ocean right now. A long line of moisture straight across from Japan to the BC coastline. Actually, even further away, it's almost in the Philippines. For stretching from the Philippines to BC, the Pineapple Express of moisture is just going to be funneling it into northern BC and as well Alaska. Overlooking here, the most recent volcanoes being updated. Karamiski, Ebico. We had about nine volcanoes that were updated to well today, as well as Fuego, Kluchevskoy, and Dokono. Some storms moving in through Malaysia and Myanmar. And as well, Indonesia and just west of the Philippines. Australia, dealing with the remnants of Tropical Storm Manga. So there are some thunderstorms that have been sweeping across western parts of Australia as that low pressure system is quickly scooting into the southern hemisphere now. And across the planet, which I've noticed and documented shared with everybody here is atmospheric rivers. Uh, so long lines of moisture that are being driven by intertropical convergences as we have a collapsed magnetosphere. Cooler temperatures that are now lower towards our surface of our planet are very warm planet. So we're watching this dramatic evaporation happen around the world and just look at that long line of moisture straight across the Pacific. And the same thing is happening in the Atlantic here. Right from Cuba, straight up to past Greenland. It's crazy stuff. Grand solar minimum. I really encourage people to do their own research. Solar cycles. We are going into solar cycle 25. We are here. Lots of channels sharing this information. Let's get to weather here. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, Calgary, Alberta, as we might have a couple thunderstorms pop up over the next couple days, but still some cool nights as that low hangs around from the north. But then you've got this large Pacific low spinning off the BC coastline here, bringing in, as I was talking about, the atmospheric river of moisture. And this large low that comes in is going to break off and head over the BC coastline into Northwest Territories. But still, we're nowhere near spring lake temperatures across the West and across the East. They're just being bombarded with the rain. No tropical storms to talk about. Area of interest here in the Atlantic under the high pressure ridge see what happens in the five day forecast or after yes in the, in the continuing forecasts overlooking Europe strong and dominant high pressure ridge locked right over the United Kingdom bringing in a lot of warm air humid warm air so watch for some pop up thunderstorms later in the forecast towards the United Kingdom as well watching a low pressure system here Scoot out of the Dead Sea. Overlooking Southeast Asia. Not much to talk about except heavy rains through Myanmar, Bangladesh. As it looks like the tropical cyclone Amphon, who scooted north, may have actually been pushed back into the Bay of Bengal. Overlooking the West Pacific here, 
just long lines of moisture. And as well, Australia, very dry after this uh, tropical storm event. Uh, tropical storm manga scooted across the western parts of Australia. Brought a little bit of moisture. Africa, dry, not much to talk about. Barely any daily evaporation rains. Only thing to really talk about here is the cooler temperatures. South Africa, I mean, they are going in through their winter season, but still some dramatic cool changes down there. And as well as South America, just wait, we'll see, see some reports here, I'm sure, of some crazy winter events throughout Argentina. Overlooking Central America, heavier rains, daily evaporation rains through Central and up into Colombia. But most of South America, dry. So enjoy. Leave it here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. A very noticeable large low pressure system in the South and as well the North. So stay aware and prepared my friends. Much love to you all and thank you all for watching. Don't forget to smack that like button. Bye-bye.